You should answer the questions as you listen, because you will not hear the recording a second time. Hello and welcome to today's Buyer Beware program, where we give you some tips on how to spend your money wisely. Now, in today's show, we're looking at beds for children and babies. Let's start by looking at baby cots. That's for children of up to three years old. We tested three different cots, all in the budget price range, and as usual, we will feature the good points, the problems, and our verdict. The first cot we looked at was by BabySafe, and it had several good points to recommend it. Our testers liked the fact that it had four wheels, so it was easy to move around. The only slight problems with this cot were that it had no brakes, but they didn't think that mattered too much. At first, they were a bit concerned about the side bar because they felt babies could trap their fingers in it. But our testers felt that this was unlikely to happen, so they've given this one a verdict of satisfactory. The next cot was by Choice Cots, and this time our testers were pleased to find a cot which is simple to put together, unlike others we looked at. On the minor side, our testers did not like the fact that the side of the cot did not drop down, making it difficult to pick up newborn babies. However, the real problem with this cot was the space between the bars. Our testers found they were too wide, and a baby could easily trap his head. We felt this was a real safety hazard, and so we've labelled this one dangerous. I'm afraid. <laughs> 